Episode 62. It's legendary. Hey guys, it's David here, and the episode today is just going to consist of a conversation I had with a guest star who's been on this show before. And um, basically, we just talked about ordering chaos and the future and uh, what's been going on the last month since the update. And we also talked about Heroes of Ordering Chaos a little bit, but not too much. So you'll hear all of that this episode, but I'm going to keep this intro pretty short. One thing I do want to say is that uh, I told you guys that Tea Time with David and Wimp would be on this week. But the audio got messed up, like I accidentally deleted my version and Wimp recorded his voice and he couldn't send the file to me because it was too big and the app he recorded it with wouldn't let him send it any other way besides email. So we're going to remake that and hopefully it will be on episode 63. But today the episode is just going to be my conversation with that one guest star. At the end there will be the question of the week of course, so without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Hey guys, it's David here, and today I'm going to be joined by a guest star, Spirit, and we're going to be talking about Ordering Chaos mostly, and we might talk about another game if we have time. So basically, we're just going to talk about like how Ordering Chaos has been going the past month since the update, and what changes there have been. So first of all, I guess we'll talk about legendary items, and all the ones that we know so far. Uh, actually, I guess like it's all the ones for level 60s. So there's the halberd, and have you seen the halberd yet? Like in the game? Yes, I have. Um, in an Asian server. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I went to the Asian server like when I was uh, Yun Mendel, and um, I didn't see anybody with it. Like I waited outside of uh, EHL. Like I ran all the way through Great Desert and uh, since called Rift to get there, and there's no one with it. So. Well, it depends um, what server you go on. There's five different ones. Okay. What's the one with the most legendary items? Well, I saw the Halberd on Salem. Um, Salem? Yeah. Like the the, the China server? Yeah, the, the Asian server. Alright. I'll try to check that. But I do know that people on Arcadian Forest are starting to get it. Someone from my guild, we were just talking about this, named Achilles, got it. Yeah, and I think the drop rate is increasing. For the... Uh, yeah, for the sigil. But I have seen a lot of people getting the uh, shield one, too. And that one's pretty cool. Like, there's basically, like, this power-up with it, where this face appears, like, in front of you. And when you're dueling, like, it's really cool. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, like, the face of the shield, which is on the back of the shield, and it goes in front of you and does, like, some special move. The halberd one is pretty cool, too. Like, this hand comes up out of the ground... And I've heard during the, the uh, Transform second boss, like, there's a hand that comes out of the ground, too, as well. So that's really cool. I don't really know the bonuses for the hammer or relic or bow or anything else, but those are the two notable ones. Yeah, um, I've seen the staves um, in an Asian server, oh. the one I was talking about. Okay. Do you know the uh, power-up for that? Um, well, I don't really know. Uh, I've not seen a lot of people get the hammer sigil, like... I think maybe one person on AF has it, and that's yeah. the one. That's the one that I'm trying to get the most. Um, I don't know the bonus for it. Probably does some sort of like healing move. That'd be really cool. But I do know a lot of people are getting the relic one, and it seems like the relic one is dropping a lot more. Uh, and it might be because like there's less cores required for the reinforced relic, so maybe it's based on like the percentage of it dropping is based on the number of cores it needs. So that's why so many people are getting the relic one. But at the same time, like I said, that uh, a lot of people are getting the halberd, so that is 50 cores to upgrade, so it might not be related at all. The guy in my guild got the hammer. Oh, okay. But he crashed while handing the quest in. Oh my god. Yeah, that's one thing we need to talk about. I've, I've heard more than one occasion of that. Like, basically, once you get the shard from the second boss, then you go to the quest giver and, like, you turn in a quest, then you go to Greenmont, and you have to do, like... I think it's an escort quest, right? I'm not yeah, sure. um, a mob appears in Grimmont, and I don't oh, okay. know what you have to do after that. Probably have to kill it, maybe. Uh, I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure. 
But as you guys know, like Greenmont is the lag crash server sync zone. I don't know how to describe it. That's the worst place to do quests. And I don't think that everyone who crashes while they're turning in this quest is on their iPhone. But it, I mean, it might just be like Greenmont itself it might not be based on device. So as I said in one of my videos, I'm kind of scared to like go to Greenmont and do that quest when I get the legendary sigil because even on the iPad I might crash or I might sink and I might lose the uh, hammer and I might like mess up the quest so I, I think, think it's... you really should um, log off before you hand in the quest yeah that's a good idea like yeah or restart Close the device or something cut. yeah cuz as soon as you like turn in part of the quest then you lose that item then you have to do the quest and complete it in Greenmont like kill the mob or whatever uh, and then you get the legendary but like the upgraded Thing that you work so hard to get is not in your bag anymore it's like basically nowhere so you have to complete that quest and you can't complete it uh, if you like server sync so that's a big problem but it is you will be unlucky if the server crashes while you're doing the quest yeah like if they had like a random server crash because there's so many people online or something that that maybe yeah. makes me want to like switch to another server while I turn in that quest if I ever get a legendary and then there won't be lag and there probably won't be server crashes because of so many people. I wouldn't recommend spending so much money to server change, but if you're really scared about like losing your upgraded whatever, then you should consider just switching to a server just to turn that in. Uh, like a dead server, so yeah. there's not that many people that could crash it. Yeah, I think that'd be a yeah. lot safer Like if you just want to be safe because you would be losing, like I think, 60 runes to switch there and switch back. But at the same time, like imagine the amount of runes and time you've spent getting those cores and everything. So I, it might be worth it to do that. But yeah, I don't know and what I'm gonna do personally. Some, close the game before you do the quest. Yeah. In case you crash. But don't close the game like while you accepted the quest and you lose your hammer or whatever. Like yeah. do it before. So. Before the quest. Yeah. I don't know if Game Off is doing that intentionally. The fuck? Do you hear that? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I bet that car is doing that intentionally. But as I was saying, like, I I don't think that it's Game Off's fault necessarily. Like, their servers are crappy, but I don't think they're, like, intentionally making their customers angry and making them lose their epics. But I do think Game Off should address that. Like, while they're doing the quest, they shouldn't lose the actual upgraded item in the process. Especially for a Green Monk quest, so. So, yeah, I think that's basically it about Legendaries. You guys got all our advice on that, so... Now we're going to get into the next topic, which is the epic mounts that have been appearing and basically where to find them. And one thing I'm not clear about is if like, if there's more than one epic mount appearing at once. Do you know anything about that? The Andy dog was the first one. Uh-huh. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Then it was the, um, what's it called? Uh, the ranger's tag. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And now he went back to the Andy dog. <laughs> Yeah, but Sorry. it's weird because like I see, I see the uh, epic lion too, like the buskin lion. Oh and, yeah, the buskin. Yeah. Yeah, it. and I'm not sure if like it's weekly where they have new mounts appear or something, or if they're all just appearing at random times. Because also like I've seen the epic horse in Rift, and that's like I think that's in Dompei Ruin or somewhere near there. It might be the Bloodsuckers. So I'm not really sure like. If it's going to be like a weekly thing, like if all of those things are appearing at once. Because it seems like the lion and the horse are both appearing this week. So yeah, they might, I mean, they might go back to like having the deer spawn. Because I don't think that's, that hasn't spawned since like the new mounts have appeared. Gameloft hasn't got back to the deer yet. Alright, so yeah, the deer will probably appear in Swamp like within the next few weeks when they switch back to that. Was it Miskatonia or Glimmermore where we found the two yeah, different ones? No more. Yeah. Glimmer more. Okay, that's one place. Do you know where the undead dog spawns? Because I haven't. Oh, uh, it spawns in Rift in uh -huh. the poopy area, but I don't know where exactly in the. Oh, oh, uh, it so it could be near Ariel then. Yeah. Um. People say it spawns behind Ariel, like oh. not too far from him. Is there an epic chinchilla mount yet? Because that's the only one I haven't. That's what really I was about to go on. Um. I don't know. I heard a rumor of a watermelon chinchilla. Oh. Yeah, that might, that, from, uh, exists, yeah. that might be from a. That might be from OAC head. Like they have 
different uh, items that aren't in the game yet. People could just go through the game files and find out. We'll probably see the uh, chinchilla next. And I don't know if it's going to be called watermelon chinchilla. It actually might be called that because of the uh, race spell that Mendels have. Uh, the harvest of the Mendel tree. Like, it looks like a watermelon. I don't know if it's exactly a watermelon, but... Um, it's a small version of one. Yeah, so that might be, like, why the chinchilla's named that. I don't know. And I have no idea what it would look like. It probably wouldn't be, like, a watermelon with hands and legs. Or well, maybe it might be just all green. In <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it gives you an HP boost. Yeah, probably. What do, what do the other uh, mounts give, like, besides speed? Oh, I think it's just... It isn't it just stability? stability. Yeah, stability. Yeah. I still didn't get the point of that. Uh, yeah, I don't... I have no idea. Uh, some people have said, like... It I'm reduces not... your full damage? Yeah, that's what that they've happens. said. Like, when, you, when you're in PvP, it maybe reduces, like, people attacking so you. Or, like, you take less damage or something. Yeah. Or it might be, like, like, when you're running through mobs or when you're running through PvP, when people attack you, like, sometimes you, like, fall off the mount, essentially. Like, you basically get off the mount when you're attacked oh, no. yeah the mount disappears it vanishes yeah like that uh so that might mean like the more stability you have the less chance you have of getting knocked off your mount i guess yeah probably if um if you make a legendary mount with like 100 stability oh that'd be you could cool fight with it yeah yeah say a war horse or something yeah, that'd be actually a really smart idea. Like, if that's what stability is, then that would be really good for Game Loft to do. So yeah, have you seen the new level cap um, that I've been comp they're putting on? Like the experience? Yeah, the experience on level 60s. Yeah, uh, if you look at your experience bar, since... Was it a patch or, or like the last update that it changed? Yeah, it was the last update. Yeah, um, now you can see, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but now it says 298,000. And it used to say 99,000. So, um, I'm I'm not sure what the experience from 59 to 60 is. It's probably near that amount. It's probably like 200,000 or something. Yeah. So, this basically shows that there will be a level cap very soon. And this allows Game Off to do it, basically. Uh, so, you'd be, giving, you'd be getting that experience when there's a level cap. Uh, to be level 61, and then I'm assuming like it would go farther than that, like either level 65 or level 70. I guess that experience shows that soon Game Off is going to add the level cap, which means that basically everything that we've talked about and everything that's been in Order and Chaos the past year and a half means nothing. So, unless Game Loft um, increases the stats of armor, say rune armor. Yeah, but then people would be wearing a. Uh, level 60 gear and they'd be level 70s and th i'm assuming there'd be a level 70 gear that's better like that's what oh, we've been um, assuming that would be stupid because they would they wouldn't have any space to make new dungeons well they would have space because they have the new continent like the ice oh, continent yeah, that's true. and also they have that uh mendel place and it has like the little space for the mendel village and then has a huge area and we talked about this before um so I'm not sure which place is going to be the level cap, like, it could be that Mendel Village continent is going to be like level 65 and then the whole ice continent is going to be like level 70 or 75 or something. Yeah. But I mean that, that whole continent is big enough to qualify as like a 10 level continent so it could be level 70 cap with the Mendel Village and like level 80 or 85 cap for the ice continent. Say you got level sixty gear, you might like when you when you get to level seventy, um, you might wear it like and you still have the low stats. But then with the quests in the level seventy place, you get these points that um make you upgrade your level sixty gear. Uh huh. And raises the stats. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's true, but. Well, I mean that that's. Might be yeah. That's what we're hoping for, because that would mean that we're not screwed over. And um, I'm assuming that, like, if that happened, there'd probably be something rune-related. Like, we'd have to, we'd have to buy runes for something, uh, so Game Off can That's make money. Sure. But if they were a really nice company, you know, they'd just let us upgrade with in-game points somehow. Like, we get points from, from getting to seventy or something. And then runes would just be for, like, dungeons, once again, like, the new dungeons that they have. 
Uh, that would be if this was a nice company, but it's not, and they're a money-making company, so we're probably going to see something rune-related, related to the level 70 upgraded gear, if that's what it is. And if not, like if it's T3 gear, but it's level 70 gear, and we have to buy runes, or we have to spend tons of time getting new gear, then, I mean, that's probably what they're going to do, so I don't know. A lot of people could get really mad by this level cap if that's coming next. Yeah, if they increase the level cap like in the next update, people will just get mad um, because they would have just got a legendary weapon. Uh huh. Which they took a year for. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they Game Off introduced the lava items for the uh, anniversary update, and yes. so basically, like, we've been working on getting these legendary items since that update. And that was back in May, and now it's January. So for them to turn around and now just make a level 70 cap and then make that legendary that we just got, like, basically pointless, that would be not fair at all. And I know a lot of people would quit the game if they had legendary items, which means that the people who spend the most time and the most money playing this game and uh, working in it every day would be quitting. So that would not be good. So Game Off, basically, at this point, if... I mean, besides, like, the 6 out of 6 gear, I guess they could get away with making a new T3 gear uh, because people have kind of grown accustomed to the tier gear and uh, they'd be fine with getting the next one if it was a level 70 cap. They'd probably be fine working for that. But legendary items, I think it's just taking it too far for the hardcore players and the people who have been spending so much time on this game. So they have to upgrade those somehow or they have to make it so if you have a legendary item for 60, you can like turn it in for like a level 70 epic and or something like that. I think that would probably be fair, but otherwise yeah, like I I don't think there's any other way they could do it unless they somehow exchange legendary items for a better item for level 70. Let's say someone gets level 60 and they work really hard and then they get to level 70 and all these level 70s who now like had legendary items and traded them for the level 70 epics are the only ones who have those so that'd be unfair for the people who like just started playing the game and they worked really hard to get to 70 but they don't have access to that epic so there also has to be a way for them to work really really hard like get a bunch of points or something but you know i mean at the same time like it would have to be a lot of work it'd have to be like six months worth work because that's how long it's taken a lot of people to get legendary items Except for the Mendels who like bought a bunch of runes and uh, hacked and then got legendaries in one day. So whatever they decide to do, I'm sure at least 50 people will still play the game no matter what they do. But if they want like the whole population to stay, they really need to start thinking about the customers and all the work that we've been doing. And all the runes that we've been spending and the terrible customer care that we've been putting up with. Like people losing their upgraded epics and then not getting a response from Gameloft, like they're not necessarily getting them restored yet. I've heard of maybe one person getting their uh, upgraded epic restored, so... I think Gameloft, um, like in the past updates, they did pretty good um, updates with the quest level up. Uh -huh. When crafting came out a year ago, there was only a few quests in Rift, like you would have to grind for a few levels. Yeah. Yeah, like, in the past updates, they made a lot of new quests for, I don't know, level 56 or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and in Whispering Islands, they added a few as well. So, yeah, they're doing pretty good with the quests, because people will find it easy to... Yeah, I mean, personally, when I was leveling up my Mendel, I mean, it might be because Rangers level up faster, which I've heard, but I skipped a whole ton of quests in Borinto Outpost and uh, Umbra Rift. Like, I didn't even do the quest line in Umbra Rift. And with the Haining Gardens quest and uh, the quest for the, like, the chest head and the bag that you can hold, like, all those quests, I was able to level up to 60, so... Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, they're doing really well with, like, adding quests and stuff. Um, so that does give me some hope for level 70. Like, maybe we won't have to grind from 69 to 70, which will take... I mean, if it's 300,000 experience for, uh... Level. Yeah, then, I mean, it'll probably increase over time, so you don't want to grind, like, for, let's say, 500,000 experience from 69 to 70. So hopefully, like, they won't keep adding those quests with patches, but they'll just add them all 
at once for the level 70 cap so that we'd be able to just not have to grind. I've been getting a lot of, um, what's it called, same day blessings. Like um, for a leveling? That give you an experience boost. Uh -huh. So really, if you guys have that, um, you might want to use it to level up to 70. If yeah. That add the level cap. Oh, one more thing I want to note was that the, you know those uh, turning quests, like the 20 dirt or whatever that you turn in for experience, and uh, people were like saving up stacks of those dirt, you know what I'm oh, talking about? I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, I, it's like when you kill mobs, they drop this thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Say so when you get up to 10 of those, um, you hand them in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I think game, I'm not sure yeah. about this, but I think Game Off made those uh, daily now. So like you can only turn in one one per day. Yeah, I mean that's that's good because like it stops people from getting from sixty to seventy if they have like a thousand of those stacked up in one day. Um, they'd only be able to like do it once per day, and then it would just be pointless to do that. So they'd have to actually do the quest to get seventy. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that would be fair for everyone. Yeah. But it would also be unfair for the people that farm all of all of that. But, I mean, since then, like, who actually goes into Rift and collects that material anymore? Like, there's yeah, so much no, more to do, no so... Much. Yeah, so basically, like, the people who have been playing since day one and leveled in one week and had nothing to do, I mean, they're the ones who have lost, but, they like... Just don't, don't there's so many... Yeah. There's so many few of those people left, so... Alright, so, I guess that's it for Order and Chaos. Real quick, I wanted to talk about... Heroes of Order and Chaos, and uh, just one last time on this podcast, because I did not plan to really play it that much, because I have not improved at it, and uh, I know that a lot of people still are playing it, so I want to just talk about it a little bit to keep you guys happy, so do you have like any information about Heroes of Order and Chaos at all? I haven't played it for a while now. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. It's just always the same thing. Yeah. Um, it's I not mean, like ordering chaos. It's far from ordering chaos. Yeah, I mean, like ordering chaos is always the same thing, but at least like each day we're progressing our gear or something. And here's ordering chaos is the same thing. You're not really progressing anything, so. Yeah, I'm like, say you get to level twenty in the game, then you're just level one on your account. Yeah, it's a little that bit just pointless. Sucks. I mean, these kind of games that Game Off make are like progression games and. Like, games that you play because you want to be the best, but in Here's World in Chaos, like, basically winning the match makes you feel good about yourself, but you have nothing else to show for it except that you won a match, so... you got to spend a lot of stuff if you really want to play that game properly. Yeah. Because um, there's a lot of things that you could just buy with runes. Oh. And maybe, I don't know, like, the daily spins are helpful. I mean, I honestly think that Game Off just made that game for the hardcore League of Legends fans. And that's probably originally why they made Ordering Chaos, but now people who don't usually play MMORPGs are playing Ordering Chaos too. Um, so I feel like Heroes of Ordering Chaos is just like a lol fan game for iOS now. And I'm, I mean, I'm honestly not a lol fan, so. So, I mean, I, I'm not really going to talk about it on this show anymore because... Um, I'm not playing it, and I will leave that to other YouTubers, hopefully, who do like Here's a Warning Chaos a lot to talk about, but do you have anything else to say about it? Because I don't. Well, that's pretty much it about order, um, Here's a Warning Yeah, Chaos. okay, so for you guys who are still enjoying it, kudos to you. Alright, so I guess that about does it for this conversation. I guess, yeah, thanks, Spirit, for coming on. Uh, we had a thanks, pretty good discussion. Um, thanks to you. Yep. And hopefully we can do this in future episodes of Season 4, so... See you guys. Alright, so now it's time for the question of the week. And the question of the week this week is... Do you think the level cap is coming next update? This is for Ordering Chaos, by the way, if you hadn't been paying attention the entire episode. So, uh, leave your answer in the comments below. Alright, so that's the episode for today. Next week, I am hopefully going to be having another Ordering Chaos discussion, and this will be on February 10th, by the way. The next three episodes will be the 10th, the 20th, and the 30th of February, except you may have noticed an error there. There's actually no 30th of February, so the episode for that one, which will be episode 65, will be out on 
February 28th instead, but you don't have to really worry about that yet. So next week, I will be having a ONC discussion with a guest star, hopefully. And I don't really have a guest star lined up yet, so if you want a guest star, then please email me or let me know in-game and tell me what you want to talk about, uh, Ordering Chaos related, and I will be happy to do that. I need to record that within the next two weekends, so let me know very soon if you want to guest star, and I'll hopefully figure something out with you and we can Skype sometime. And also on episode 63, as I said at the beginning, there will hopefully be another Tea Time with David and Wimp segment, so... You can look forward to all of that on episode 63, but that's it for this episode, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.